when I did this, it was with all stuff I had laying around my yard or my neighbor's yard. Sorry for the videos being out of order, but pretty, you get a five gallon metal bucket, remove all the paint by burning, sanding, grinding, drill the holes, how many ever holes you want, and you, uh, the size pipe is up to you, and how many you want is up to you. I use seven, you can use bigger ones, smaller ones, and then after that, you just drill the holes in the lid and in the bottom, cut the pipe to length, put the pipe through the hole, weld it, but uh, as you can see I didn't have the right size drill bit, I, didn't, I just, so it's kind of oaky, you can call it, but I ended up filling in the gap of furnace cement and welded to what I could. And uh, yeah, it's, I've been using it for the last six months, no leaks, any questions you can ask. If I had a shop and the, spent some money, I could have made it nice, better looking one, a better old one. Hey, Yeah, it's galvanized. I read it takes 1800 degrees for it to burn off before it's harmful. Yeah, we can see now. Only one speed on this thing. five-year-old Roby. Well, I'm gonna cut about one, two, three, four, I don't know. I guess as I can. I use my drilled wire brush for the tight areas like in in here. Sure does suck when you don't have all the right tools and parts. Do you do it yourself? Hope it works. Cross my fingers. Got the hold marked and not measured. I got one in. Not all the way in, but I don't really have all the right tools to make a perfect circle. So I just drill the holes. Drill some holes and then 
pry and cut the rest of the metal out. Not going for looks. I just realized that I I didn't the seam right here. Make sure you keep that on the side. I just messed up. I didn't even think about it. Then I'm gonna be cutting right on it, which I don't think is gonna be good. We'll see. So this is how it's looking for now. Like if I had all the right tools, it would be a lot cleaner, but I'm working with what I got. I just hope when I weld this, it doesn't blow holes. Tack welding, this is welding it. I wish I had my hole perfectly round. What I can do? Ooh. Bird feet, chicken scratch, whatever you want to call it. A couple of those got a stick. Burn a couple holes. Right, there's a hole. That's a little bit of gasket fire cement won't fix. Well, I don't know. I don't know that much about welding. Got any pointers, tips? Let me know. This is a welder. I just had it on A and was moving it from between one and three. I don't know, it's, there's, it's just no gas. So, I gotta go to my neighbor's house because I made all these holes but I, got, I need to get one more piece. Then I still gotta do the ones in the bottom. Fun, fun when you don't have the professional tools. I really need someone here to hold the camera. The drill hole here, there, bam, bam, bam. Okay, I got my pieces all cut, eyeballed. I recommend you put it in a vise, wear gloves. A little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of room. So I like it. I wrap too much and not enough. Now I'm wire brushing the lid. I don't know if it's might be too thin to weld, but I'm gonna try and use the the lid. Wire brushing everything. Okay, Burn the gasket out. Put this right here. This got one hand here. You go. Shh. 